Oh, nice to meet you. I'm Charles from France in Paris. Hi, I'm Leila. I'm from the UK. I heard the way you're eating sushi here is totally different from France. Like, if you dip, for example, the sushi in the soy sauce and everything, it's not well seen. Ah, uh, yes. Do it. Some people like try to flip over the sushi yeah. and then put the soy sauce on the side of fish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like then, what if the fish falls? Actually, like, traditionally, you eat it with hands. So traditionally, they eat it with hands. Like, you can use it with your hands. What do you say? Cheers. Yes. Kanpai. 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 Yeah, it's good. It's easy to drink, right? Yeah. It is a bit like wine. Like yeah, wine yeah. Wine. yeah. It's very easy going. It's like the beginning of the white wine, French white wine. Ah, yes. So <laughs> okay. This is something you want to try. <laughs> this is the same. Thing. I didn't know it comes like this. <laughs> I have a, good, a big one. <laughs> you have a big one. Okay. So let's try it. Should I put it all in my mouth or not? <laughs> Does it taste fishy? Yeah, it tastes a lot fishy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's alright. Yeah. The texture is a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's a little bit like raw egg. No? Is it, is it high in protein? Yes, <laughs> a lot of protein. It's funny because the second time I took it, they prefer it than the first time. Really? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Because you're like used to it? I don't know. You want to know what it is? Okay, so. um, I think this is the first time and probably the last time we're going to ever try something like this. <laughs> yeah. What is it? It's not so much of like the type of fish. Yeah. It's more like far off fish. Like the brain? No. The stomach? No, something you really don't expect. Simply said, it's spam. fish sperm. What? <laughs> oh, <Fish stuff>. shit. <laughs> okay. So this is a medium fatty tuna. And then these two, this is a fatty tuna. Uh -huh. And then this is a fatty tuna with the grill. Okay. okay, maybe you can try medium fatty tuna first. I don't know. Oh, wow. I'm scared. <laughs> Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's way more fresh than when you eat sushi in France. Ah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can feel it. It's almost melting in, in, in yeah, the mouth. Yeah, it's very mm. tender. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait for it. <laughs> now, my next, like. Mm. like when you get this one is way more um, tasty, I mean like more um, taste. Uh -huh. taste than the uh -huh. I love the grill. Oh, like, you can taste the like, smoke. Oh, and you have wasabi? Yes. Okay. But it's not hard because some wasabi in France or in like... Spicy? Yeah, it's really spicy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I really like this one. Yeah. It's yeah. nice, right? It's grilled. It's like a nice yeah. flavor. This is cooked shrimp. Uh -huh. This is a raw shrimp. Oh, you go cooked or raw? As you want. That's good. I love shrimp. It's, really, it's a good experience. Oh, I can't even call it. it. They call it uh, anago. Yeah. Uh, it is kind of. Uh, is it like the long fish? Yeah, long fish. Yeah. So if you have the sweet sauce, you don't put it in the soy sauce. No. <laughs> Very soft. But the bones are like ticklish. You know? uh, <laughs> I can feel the bones. Uh, do you eat the uh, you? I mean, yeah, it we, like we eat yeah. it, but personally, mm -hmm. I don't. No, personally, no. Yeah. But yeah, it's really good. In France, we eat a lot of strange things. Also. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, oh, pig brains. Uh, oh. Yeah, it's another, another kind of stuff. <laughs> How do you call it? Uh, lamb brain. I never tried it. You never tried it? No, I don't want to. Usually, you did fried. You yeah. right. Is that sea urchin? Are you left handed? 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know it. <laughs> it's different, right? It's totally different. Yeah, like fish. It's also something like uh, shrimp. People like it, but bitter people don't like it. It's a lot more like smooth. It's kind of like avocado, you know, like really ripe avocado. Uh, yeah, really rich, rich flavors. Mm. Yeah. It's very rich. Yeah. It's very rich. <laughs> you like it. Yeah, it's very nice. It's like bubble tea. <laughs> Better than bubble tea. Yeah. Do you know natto? Natto. Yeah, it's like fermented beef. <laughs> Charles doesn't yeah. like it. Yeah. No, I'm not a huge fan of it. Yeah. Do you like it? I've tried it before. Mm -hmm. So it's good for like for your health. You yeah. Know? yeah, for your health. It's, it's very nutritious. Fermented. Like, yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't really like uh, that though, but yeah. after I grew up and getting more used to it, then like I start like loving yeah. it. So. Is wasabi like to kill bacteria? Ah, yes, yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because yeah. it's raw fish. Also ginger. Just yeah. like so. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, less fatty. Right? Yeah. But really nice. Yeah. Really fresh. I really like it. Mm. So what do you usually eat in your country? England. We have like lots of pies. So like Yorkshire pie, like Yorkshire puddings, and then like shepherd's pie. So a lot of like meaty stuff. Or like on Sundays we have like roast dinner. So like roast chicken with like yeah, with roast vegetables. But in terms of like. You know, specific like cuisine. We don't really have it. Like, it's just like most people just know it as like fish and chips. But the best thing is probably English breakfast. That's good. Yeah. With like hash browns and the sausages and the cheese. Yeah. I would like to be a vegetarian someday. <laughs> so like, I eat a lot of vegetables. So I don't eat that much meat. Like usually, I don't really cook meat. I only eat it if I'm going out and like just to try like really different dishes. I really couldn't be vegetarian in Costco. I love meat too much. But, uh, <laughs> so how about friends? So my friends, we have a lot of kind of different food. Yeah. Obviously, it's known uh, mostly because of the cheese. Uh, we have a lot of cheese, good yeah. cheese. Okay, I don't know if you heard about fondue, which is basically just melted cheese some French wine, a little bit of garlic, uh -huh. and you just put bread inside of it and then eat the whole thing. It's uh -huh. really good. So, raclette? And raclette. Oh, it's good. also with cheese, like you have potatoes. So it's like grilling. fried melted cheese. Yeah. 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 And except that we also have a lot of other dishes with meat, like the bourguignon, which is one of the most famous. I think it's like eight hours cook. You cook the, the meat for like eight hours, so it's really it's so soft. Yeah. And like, Smelling in your, in your mouth. And uh, you put like a potato, something yeah, you vegetables, put potatoes, out. vegetables, uh, friends. The uh, food is really different from where you're going. Like if you're going to the north, and the south, or the east, like you have places with traditional food. For uh, example, in Marseille, which is in the south of France, you have like bouillabaisse, mm -hmm. which is like yeah, yes. a soup of yeah, full fish and everything. But it's traditional, so you have to eat it at the place uh, originally. Yeah, I think it's the same in Japan, no? With yeah. like different yeah. food coming from different places. Yes, true. Sushi in Japan is a different experience, huh? The fish is really fresh. Mm -hmm. If I go to your country, yeah. which uh, tourist places do you recommend me? Uh -huh. hmm. Well, there's a lot of like very obvious like tourist places. So like central London, all the way from like Oxford Street mm -hmm. through like Piccadilly Circus to Trafalgar Square to like the Big Ben and then to like Buckingham Palace. So that's like a very you know touristy route. Mm -hmm. You can walk it if if you're up for walking and doing some exercise. Mm -hmm. um, Kensington, which is like a very posh area, uh -huh. so like quite rich, you know, what else? Uh, and nowadays, like it's really trendy to go to like Camden or Cam Brixton, yeah, so they're a bit more like for younger people and it's like this urban like vibe, yeah, like industrial, like it used to be an industrial area oh, yeah. back in like the 50s, so like 
and also Stratford. Stratford is where the Olympic Park is. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it kind of is a little bit more popular now, like East London, uh, after the Olympic Games. Oh. Yeah. Loads of areas. I think, like Japan, uh, I mean, like Tokyo, mm -hmm. like London is very, very big. Oh. So, you know, in Tokyo, there's so many districts, mm -hmm. you know, and they're like kind of everywhere you know it's yeah. like around the whole of tokyo so. paris is obviously the the thing you must do like when you come to france at the beginning of course the eiffel tower and Eiffel's the Arc de Triomphe and the big avenue like champs and stuff like that well at the moment it's not good to go right there because we have like some issues i don't know if you've seen about it yeah people like manifesting against like taxes and everything oh. and now they're just it's exploding like it's just like this oh, okay, okay. so i know yeah it's a bit difficult <laughs> right now Police everywhere in the street, but uh, yeah, Paris, and also, which I really recommend is go outside of Paris. Mm -hmm. uh, you have so many beautiful places to go in France, like especially south of France, which is really like Provence Col d'Azur, which is a region, uh -huh. and you can travel like in little village and everything, mm -hmm. and it's really beautiful. It's like traditional, typical, and you can go to eat food. Uh, with beautiful landscapes, uh, the sun, everything. Also, you have we have the Mediterranean Sea, mm -hmm. so you have the coast. Uh, Corsica is also a great place, it's an island. You can really see different things, like you have the mountains, you have the sea, mm -hmm. you have the north, which is totally different from central France and uh, south, south of France. Oh. So yeah, you have really different kind of uh, landscape, which is really cool. Yeah, really good. I wasn't surprised because I was expecting that like the food is obviously way more fresh and more tasty than like French sushi or not traditional sushi. I really really like it. I like also the atmosphere of the uh, of the place. Okay. Thanks. I, I really enjoyed the, the you know you the unusual food. Yeah. <laughs> like shirako. Yeah. But yeah, it was a very nice experience. Yeah, just trying new things that you wouldn't try normally. Yeah. And they still taste good, you know. Thank you. Thanks.